Hey, long time no see, super friends. I am Emo Sebo. Thanks for watching the vid. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you clicked on it. Thank you for clicking on this. Uh, if if you're subscribed, I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with the channel. I stopped up uploading like a while ago because I just lost interest or the hype, uh, putting in time to make the videos more than anything else. But now that Star Wars came out, come on, man. I had to make a video about Star Wars, about Rise of Skywalker. Now, there's a lot to say about this film. There's a lot of things I liked. Several things, I'm not gonna say a lot. <laughs> Several things I liked about the movie. There were a lot of things I did not like. And yes, this will be a spoiler-filled review. If you haven't seen the film, go watch the film. Come back and check out the review. And leave me some comments if you did enjoy the movie or you didn't, let me know why. Because this is one of the most divisive movies also. Like, Last Jedi was divisive. This one is going to be one pretty, like, up there as well. I think that most people that enjoyed Force Awakens are going to like this one. And people that enjoyed Last Jedi are not going to like this movie. Now, right now, I haven't analyzed the movie that much i saw it yesterday yesterday and right now it's a big c you know like a b c and I, I think that's where the movie is for me and i don't think it's gonna move that much that score i think it's gonna be a c but let me tell you why i don't know how long this video is gonna be i don't know how short the video is gonna be i didn't structure this shit at all like i just sat down i'm just gonna spit facts you know my my opinions and some facts on the movie and the franchise itself um just enjoy sit back and let's have a discussion with the comments down below as well how about we start with and i'm doing this because it's just way easier and faster just opening it opening up images uh let's start with something i liked okay let's open uh, the best thing out of the movie the best thing to come out of the movie is Babu Freak. <laughs> that's, that's at the point. This is the point where we are, man. Babu Freak is the best thing of Rise of Skywalker. Come on. Oh, he was super funny. He was a standout character. And I think it's pretty, he's, he's going to sit well with most people. A mini mechanic. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to get a fucking pop. You know, a, fu a Funko pop out of this guy. Because it's pretty cool. Nah, man, come on. There are some things I liked about the movie. Um, how about we open uh, this? Hopefully this will come out. I mean, this will come out of the movie. This is the Visual Dictionary. If you're not familiar with these books, they are amazing encyclopedia-like pieces of literature from Paulo Hidalgo, one of the story heads in Lucasfilm. And these books are full of just information lore if you're a lore junkie like me i love just reading about the universe the galaxy is like star wars everything these books are a must have and i have the force awakens i have the last jedi and i'm gonna get this one i, I think this book comes out on december 30th so the last day almost the last day of the month so if you're like if you want to know more and want to know the most you can i suggest you get the the visual dictionary because it's amazing can't wait to read this stuff man these are the best things out of the movie <laughs> uh you know what i think i i enjoyed i kind of enjoyed watching kylo go from kylo to ben what i didn't enjoy about this is that we didn't get to see ben solo at all and that is where the new comic book the rise of kylo ren if you haven't heard about this there's a, there's a comic book that already launched the the first issue is out it's called the rise of kylo ren and it shows a story of ben solo transforming into his darth like persona kylo ren and it's really really cool man i think that that book had to be released years ago it was really late like we 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 needed that book after episode seven right after episode seven give us a fucking book and tell his story of how he became kylo ren but we got it now, and I read the first issue with no spoilers, but it answers questions. It shows more of the Knights of Ren, more of Snoke, 
more of, of course, Ben Solo. And that's what I wanted to see so much in film was Ben Solo and not Kylo. Like show us his, you know, his light side or more human side or good side, whatever you want to call it. And we got just Kylo Ren in the trilogy. I wanted to see more of Ben Solo. Let's talk about Rey and Kylo since she's here already. This relationship for me was always really awkward. Some people love uh, the Raylo, Rylo, whatever you call it, relationship. I didn't. I always thought it was really awkward. Like, are they, do they have like a, you know, like a lovey thing going on? Are they friends? Are they, what's this tension about? You know, it just felt weird for me that it didn't click for me at all. Especially the, the kiss. The kiss was super just like awkward. Like, why? I think it would have been better if Kylo just fell. Just fell and died there. Even though I didn't like the fact that he died. But the kiss just made it worse for me. I didn't like the kiss at all. It took me out of the movie. I was like, really, man? Come on, man. I had a lot of really moments watching this film. And overall... I think the movie was was pretty bad. It had cheesy moments. It had some some cool moments, but that's it. Like highlights. Like you can you can pick out the good things from the whole movie from the uh, two hours and something. I like this and I like that, and that's pretty much it. Just moments, and I, I hate that because I wanted to love this film, man. Like I said in my Instagram post. Also, if you're not following me. If you're not following my Instagram, go check it out. It's just Memo Acebo. My Twitter, just Memo Acebo. And yeah, just like I said there, I wanted to love the film so much because I love Star Wars. I love it. I'm not going to the movies to challenge the film. I'm not going there with low expectations. I'm going there as a fan, excited to see what's next in the in this franchise that I love. And Rise of Skywalker was like a it was a big failure for me. It just I left the move. I left the, the theater just in a low, like really low. I I enjoyed some parts, but overall, come on, man! This is a conclusion of of forty years of the Skywalker saga of the epic Star Wars franchise. <laughs> this this felt like JJ was trying to fix things. You know, like Episode Seven was JJ Abrams. Episode Eight, Ryan Johnson did his did his thing he ryaned the fucking film and it changed so much from the theme the 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 feel the tone from episode seven and now we got episode nine going back to episode seven's feels so it was weird different concept different director also different like colin trevorrow was going to direct episode nine J.J. Abrams also wrote episode 9, like helped write it. So I think it's just a lot of tones and ideas and personalities, um, feelings in writing and directing. I think it also like, it jarred the direction and the writing. It was just, it was janking it. So I, that's what I felt. I didn't feel, I didn't, I didn't feel a cohesive tone. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to explain myself as better as I can, the best I can, but it's, 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 it's weird. I just didn't feel like this was a sequential trilogy of different tones. I just didn't like it. We can talk about this a little bit more. The Last Jedi stuff and Ryan Johnson. Luke, in this episode, in this movie, didn't feel like episode 8 Luke Skywalker. You know, that hermit and that uh, isolated version of Luke. In this film... He grabbed Ray's lightsaber or the lightsaber when she threw it, and now he's saving the lightsaber, opposite of episode eight, where he just discarded the lightsaber. And I think this is just one example of many things episode nine trampled on. Because I think this film just ignores and throws away episode eight. Also, like a big fucking negative for me. If you're gonna go with a different tone, different approach, divisive film like episode eight. Why come and do episode 9 and just forget about it? Just throw it away? That also sit really, really bad with me. I, I, I hated that. That change of uh, theme or motto, whatever you want to say or call it. I didn't like that at all. Ray, as we can see, like she's training, she's meditating. And that's also something that kind of bothered me in episode 9. 
we see a training montage of Rey, like doing it like a course, because people were calling her a Mary Sue, right? Like, who's this Rey and why is she so powerful? Now we know she's Palpatine. I'm going to be talking about that, like, in a bit. <laughs> Rey Palpatine. Oh, man, I there's a lot of things, dude, that I just didn't like. It's gonna, uh, let's talk about the training. So people were saying that why is she so, she, they were asking why is she so powerful? Well, now we get this training montage and I, it also sat really bad with me. I didn't like it. She was doing really awkward things that she didn't have to do. So we just got this. So people just shut up, like stop saying that she didn't train because you're getting this montage now. I just thought it was thrown in and not organic. That's just me. Maybe, maybe you did enjoy it. Maybe you did like watching her training but i didn't i think it was really weird also something weird and thrown in was uh, zori bliss that's how you pronounce her name zori zori bliss i like the fact that we got more backstory to poe dameron that he was a spice runner i like things like that i like things that expand lore expand story what i don't like is how they used this character and uh, wasted potential this character and, and more things like all she did was show her face, show her eyes, give Poe Dameron a tingy majiggy. You know, what's the word? The word of a plot convenience item, that fucking medallion, so so, it, so they could escape. That's what she was here instead of expanding more on Poe. And also, people were saying people were so strong on the bromance with Finn and Poe that they wanted to make it clear that Poe is straight. Poe po is not going to hook up with Finn because he likes women. Zori is there to prove it. Uh, he was all like flirty and Zori was saying, no, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put out. So, so it, another, another character just thrown in a, a throwaway character. Like she didn't have to be there at all. Wasted potential. Let's keep on talking about wasted potential, man. <laughs> these stormtroopers are so cool looking and that's all they got going on for them they don't have anything special they're just red stormtroopers they're called sith troopers i was so excited i was like what are they gonna do with these guys that they're like they look really cool really strong really cool red a theme going on and what did they do nothing just shoot shoot at people a lot of things that are just they're just thrown away and I, I fucked it up. I fucked my, my pictures up. Let me open it again. Um, but yeah, man. I hated that. How they waste potential like that. As well as Lando. Lando. It was really nice. Seeing Billy D. Williams again. In Star Wars. But that's all he did. Um, talk about fan service. This is it. You bring in Billy D. You just have him walk there and smile, you know, do something, talk like Billy D. And that's all he did. Uh, cool, cool that he was in the film. Huge fucking fan service with this as well. Like he just pops up and brings like a giant fleet out of nowhere. Come on, man. This movie is filled with cheesy moments with fan service with easy escapes that star wars is not doing anything since i honestly believe that since disney got star wars we just got the same shit it is now shit it wasn't shit before we got the same thing from the ot the original trilogy this new trilogy this sequel trilogy did not do anything in my opinion because people are crazy in my opinion, this trilogy did not do anything for Star Wars lore, for Star Wars as a whole. Maybe you could you could say that Je uh, Rey is a female main character, and that's really cool for you know female fans and viewers of the franchise. I agree. I can agree with that. Like girls look up to Rey; they feel represented in the film. The main character is a female, strong female character, right? Uh, I guess that's what they, they got. Because everything else for me is just throwaway. Like, this sequel trilogy can be forgotten. Did nothing for me. It did nothing 
for me. Maybe in the, if you comment down below something cool this thing did, I'll probably change my opinion. But right now, thinking about it, episode 7 is the same thing as episode 4. Episode 8 is just BS. Uh, Forest Ghost Yoda, I guess, throwing lightning. Pretty cool shit. And episode 9, just a bunch of fan service and cheesy moments and no really cohesive tone. They didn't like the storyline, the dialogue. The dialogue is really w dumb. Like, I, I could, I'm not saying I'm a writer or I could do a better job. But I, I was like, I was saying the lines that characters were going to say, right? So like, it's really easy to predict what, what they're going to say, how they're going to respond, what's next. It's just dull. Like, there's nothing cool going on in dialogue and script. And yeah, it was a bad experience in, in, in that front. Another wasted potential, and it's not because of the obvious, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher, a lot of people just looking at Carrie Fisher in the film were weeping. Like in my theater, when she popped out, uh, I heard two people just sniffling, you know, tearing, tearing up. I didn't like how they handled the visual effects. It threw me out of the film. Like I could tell, and not because, like I said, not because she is, she passed away. But she didn't look like she was there. It looked like a video game character. And also, I pointed this out with my brother. I told him that every time, Le almost every time Leia was on screen and when Ray talked with her, it looked like an NPC sequence in a video game. Leia is in one corner and she, she stands there like looking away. The camera's looking at the back of her head. And then Ray comes in and speaks and they don't move like they stay there and that's the scene it also looked really glossy and shiny and i didn't like it it threw me out of the movie storyline i think leia didn't do anything just called some uh, a couple of shots uh, reprimanded paul dameron and that's it more wasted potential again man this fucking trilogy is just so bad what can we talk about Palpatine? What do I think about Palpatine being the big bad? I think it goes to the same thing I was talking about. Wasted potential. Recycling things, elements from the OT or the prequels. Why Why bring back Palpatine, dude? Why? Uh, they, I get it. He's a puppet master. He's controlling everything from the shadows. But something different, something new, please. You know, like the the future of Star Wars in comics. They had a Darth Krayt, badass. The Old Republic, Darth Bane, Rev and stuff. People know how to make new things, new villains, make them compelling, make them really interesting. And this sequel just created Snoke, which didn't have that much appeal to me. But they could have stick with with Snoke as a big bad, or even make Kylo the big bad in Episode Nine, and not bring back Palpatine. Come on, man, same shit again. And yeah, it looked cool when he threw the lightning. All of a sudden, he's like super strong. But I know people pointed out that he sucked the life force out of these two, and that's why he's so strong. But dude, from little lightning he threw in Episode Six, Episode sorry, uh, uh, Episode Three. He threw a little lightning right at, at Windu, and now he's killing, like almost killing, a bunch of the fleet with his lightning, throwing it to the space and the galaxy. Crazy strong. I kind of liked it, and I kind of didn't like it. Uh, I like the visuals and that he's actually strong, but it didn't make sense to me. It was like a really cheesy moment, fans for his moment. But yeah, man, Palpatine. <sighs> I like Ian McDermott. I like the guy. He's a great actor. But too much of this guy already. Too much of Palpatine. Move on. Let's move on from this. I think that's a big... The big quote. The biggest lesson from me. Uh, let's move on. Let's just... Forget if, if we can. Forget about the sequel trilogy. And hopefully we get some Old Republic stuff. That's where the meat and potatoes are from this franchise. You know, the Jedi versus the Sith that's cool shit 
like all that mythology and that lore and those force powers which this movie had new force powers like the transferring of the of the, of the saber that was pretty cool I like that. I want to see more of that. More more force powers like that. Really cool stuff. Wasted potential. <laughs> the Knights of Ren are probably the biggest throwaway characters and wasted potential this sequel had. Right? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. They didn't do shit. They just fought with Kylo or Ben. For a little bit. And that's it. You could have done something really cool with these characters. Like make the Reddit theories true. Like make them the Rogue One characters. There were so many similarities between these knights and the Rogue One characters. That it was almost written for its, like by itself. Like people were writing this shit for Lucasfilm. Come on man. I actually like that theory. Make them interesting. and Make them do something. They didn't do shit. Another waste of potential. But like I said, the Rise of Kylo Ren comic, that is going to expand on these characters and this mythology or concept of Ren. I highly suggest you read the comic because it's just going to expand the lore. It's going to answer some questions, fix some plot holes maybe. Really cool. So like, read it. The Rise of Kylo Ren. Check it out. And I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. That I wanted to talk about the pros and cons. I liked seeing the three like finally together on screen, like Poe, Finn, and Ray. Not Rose, another th- another throwaway character. What the fuck did Rose do? Scream? I don't know. I don't even rem- remember what she did. I don't know. She just she, she's she's there. Whatever. But yeah, Nathan Drake and uh, Finn. We're cool. I, li- I like I like Finn's force sensitivity. I think it makes sense. It expands the character even more. Um, I like the fact that he found the stormtroopers, like ex stormtroopers. But I didn't like how clingy he is to Ray. That's what I I just. Well, come on, man. Just leave her alone. She's fight. She's fucking fighting Kylo Ren <laughs> in crazy sea waters, and this guy is chasing after her. Come on, dude. So like. Almost everything positive out of this film comes with its negatives. And I think I think after analyzing the film and talking about it, I might even bring it down to a C minus. I don't know, maybe. Too much wasted potential, too many cheesy moments, too many things that don't make sense. Didn't give us Ben Solo at all. Just like quick sequences and that's it just too too much bs man too much bs but yeah i think that's it for 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 now maybe if i get more thoughts i'll post a different video i want to talk about the rise of kylo ren the comic i'll probably make a video on that later on maybe but yeah my friends i think that's it for now that's to not make the video too long oh man Such a fucking letdown. Such a letdown. I wanted to love this film. I wanted to leave the theater, you know, chanting or crying. Or yes, that was a fantastic conclusion. But it wasn't. It was not. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the movie. If you maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you loved it. Wow, if you loved it, I'm I'm surprised. (laughs) Leave me a comment saying what's up. What you thought about the film. What's next? What do you want to see next in this franchise? Are you watching Mandalorian? I am. I gotta watch the new episode. I haven't seen it. Badass stuff. That is great Star Wars. The first three episodes were really cool. Then it got a little little worse, but it's still really enjoyable. Baby Yoda. I mean, come on. Really cool stuff. So yeah, follow me on my social media. My, my Instagram and my Twitter is just Memo Acebo. It's just my name. Go check it out. Stay update it with the channel if you click on the bell icon you'll get notifications if i if i upload again i'll still let you know in my social media so to check that out i thank you again for watching and of course i'll see you on the next one <laughs>